friends. <laughs> so, yeah, 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 but then again, Jamaica life nice. Welcome back once again. Extreme chef there once more with Prince Nick. You know, we just come for do it, people. As we always doing, we always showing a simple and authentic ways. Now today, what we are here to do is to do some fried chicken and mashed potato. Well, we know Jamaican love them fried chicken. Yeah, they, man. Yeah, tell man. them about them, fri tell them yeah. fried chicken friend them and see if they don't buy beer gun. I chew up your neck. But don't take their fried chicken from them, you know? But yeah, as I'm saying, people, we, what we're going to do today now is just some, um, some simple fried chicken. But hold on there. Mm -hmm. The jacket there. How can a jacket that say? Extreme jacket. <laughs> yeah, you know, um, it's, it's, a, it's a samurai chef jacket because I like to go to the extreme, you know? Like when we come to the kitchen now, you know, we just kick them food. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so I like to go to the extreme, you know what I mean? Have my belt around my head and, you know, samurai jacket. Yeah, real. Always go to the extreme people. Kick them food and all of that, you know what I mean? But, as I was saying, what we're here to do today is just some simple fried chicken. Don't take Jamaican fried chicken from them. Jamaican life nice with the fried chicken, right? Yeah, man. So, we're going to just jump right into it and just deal with it. First, what we have to do, we're just going to show how to um, break your chicken apart. Like, take it down, giant by giant, right? Yeah. Beautiful. Right here, we have a chicken here, viewers. Chicken. No, chicken has, um, we have two legs, that's two. Two hit, that four. Two wing, that's six. And two breasts. That's it. But what we're going to do today, we're going to take 10 pieces because remember, it's a recession time. We have to share for two more. Good. All right. All right. So, first thing is first. This is a wing, right? You can move the wing and you see the joint right here, right up to the shoulder. So, once you go like that, that's the joint right off, all right? So, come again and you go boom, right there, and that's the joint right there. What I like to do. Uh, what I think, what I, sorry, uh, come over here, sir. It's my pan. All right. What I like to do, right? I like to separate the ribs and the breast from the leg and the thigh, right? So it has two bones right here, down in the almost to the hind part, right here. These two bones, as you can see, it is two right here. So what I'm going to do now, right? I'm just going to put my knife right in front of there. I want slightly so you can see the open of the of the back, you know. So I'm on flip. You're really a samurai. I'm telling you, my view is so. Yeah. So what we're gonna do now? We're gonna turn it to the back, and we're gonna take the arm. We're gonna burst the legs open. Boom. Right. So this is a rib right here. Right. So you're gonna take the rib away from the leg and the thigh. Right. You're gonna go around, and you're gonna do the same. You're gonna take the rib away from the leg and the thigh. And you're just gonna break it apart like that by taking the leg and the thigh from the breast and the rib. Wow. Just like that. So after doing that, viewers, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put this side to stand, right? And I'm gonna go straight in the center bone right here. That's the center. I'm gonna go right there, you know, all the way down. So I got a leg and a thigh right there. You know, and I have a leg and a tie right there. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna find back the joint again and separate the leg from the tie, just like that. You know, Whoa. and I'm gonna go again by separating the leg and the tie, just like that. Right in the joint. You know, and I'll pull back that. Now, you have the rib, right? And you have the breast. Now, I'm gonna turn it right there and I'm gonna go exact in the middle because I wanna get breast and rib breast and rib so I will just go right here Wow! open turn then I'm gonna go straight through the breast so I have two pieces of breast Whoa. right now over breast what I'm gonna do go for a two there you go Wow! there you go and now your chicken is scraps Viewers. So you get 10 you know, pieces of chicken. 10 pieces of chicken. For the recession. For the recession. So you get cost money up the street. Man, mommy tell That's me. That's a comfy dinner. Feed him. <laughs> you know? Feed him. Go to the extreme and feed him. You know? Yes, people just watch and subscribe. You know? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. 
Positiveness with the people. Positiveness, man. Positiveness. So now I have my um, thigh right here. So I'm gonna take this um, that was in the um, chicken mm -hmm. before it was butchered. So um, I'm just gonna take them, take it from the the chick the, 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 the thigh of the chicken. Right. Yeah. And I'm gonna come over here now to get some water on. Now, people, remember I told you if you have no if you have no um, vinegar to um, wash your meat, you, you can um, always utilize a tablespoon of flour or you can utilize um, some lime or some lemon. Lime juice or lemon juice. Oh, so you take off the extra fat? Yes, take off all the extra fats and um, it has some, what they would call it, um, ligament. A sinews or what I would call it right under you as you can see. Wow. Yeah, that, that's from all the fat. You, you don't you don't need that, you know? So you you, you just um get all from under the skin. Wow. So when you're having when you're having heat in your chicken you, you don't don't um meet up on no, no none of these things under the skin for you to say ooh wee you know yes. so as I take my excess fat from my chicken that's it you know find the tie now and check if no ear under the arm you know <laughs> yeah you know start for that yet so check your next one because I'm a ton man you know people you know start for that yet see there no ear no under the arm so I'm gonna go for some vinegar just like that I'm gonna wash. I'm gonna wash. Now I'm gonna wash. My friends, I'm just gonna lay these in the sink right here to be drained. There's um getting my seasoning on. I don't want to get any um excess of water. Or I don't need no water at all to be ampering the the amount of salt I'm putting on or the amount of seasoning. So I'll just go by taking um just resting it right there to be drained yeah, of man. all the um water from that. Beautiful. Beautiful so Beautiful. Over here again I'm just gonna get the chicken on board and stop. And this jacket, let me tell you something, man, I love this jacket so much. This jacket, man, um, means a lot to me. This jacket means a lot to me because where it's coming from, you know? Where it's coming from, I can feel the warmness inside, you know? Yeah, man. I can tell that, you know, it was, it was brought to me with a willing heart, you know? It was given <laughs> with a lot of extreme love, yes. So, all right, so, viewers, I have my chicken right here. My chicken right here, viewers. So, I'm gonna get my chicken marinated now. All right, so, it's my chicken. All right, so, um, after all of that, what I'm gonna do, I have some all-purpose seasoning right here, some chicken, some chicken seasoning right here. So I'm gonna get my chicken seasoning on. And why I like to use this uh, this type of seasoning, uh, viewers, is that it gives, I'm gonna mix that with a little all-purpose. You know, it gives so much sweet flavor, you know. Uh, I like to mix that with some salt and pepper and stuff like that maybe some dry basil or some um, oregano or etc you know i like to mix it mix uh, my <clears throat> all-purpose seasoning with some um with some paprika no you should give give you nice color for flavoring or sometimes i like to use a little bit of um egg powder which um, which is the saffron you know so it gives the chicken a nice nice color you know, also a nice flavor. So what I'm doing here now is just to massage. You know, the more you massage 
your meat is the more the meat feel feels relaxed to uh, accept all that you're giving to it you know if the meat is not relaxed then it won't accept until you put it down and let it sit there and get in its comfort zone then it will just start absorbing but getting it relaxed now I'm just massaging massaging in all this um, seasoning so massage therapist oh my word but I'm just using the samurai um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah man so so general people the more you massage your meat the more it will take faster the seasoning that you're massaging into your um, into your meat all right so as you can see it's massaging in and it's it's just looking a bit white to me i can look from i can tell from the the color that it needs some more salt i can tell from the color that it just needs some additional seasoning you know i, I can tell from the color that uh, uh, uh it doesn't has um enough uh of the seasoning that it's supposed to have okay. so what i'm going to do now i'm going to get the color and the color will come with a flavor mm -hmm. so i'm just adding some more and that is one chicken my viewer this is just one chicken that was break down in um a chicken has um as eight pieces two legs two tight two wing two breasts you know but i just break it down make 10 from it because i've just split one of the breasts in two pieces so i oh let's have come for dinner <laughs> all right so you see so i can um prepare for somebody as jamaica you know is people. nice people jamaica is a place where you know we look out for each other you know we we, we, we ensure that if our neighbor has nothing you know we have something we will split yeah, it man, yeah, man, you know yeah. that's the right thing i don't right thing for the one that's a love that's a love so there you go my um viewers you can look back on your chicken at this moment it's not that white that it was just yeah, being, yeah, so man. you can see a more darker to it all right so what i'm gonna do now is just to put this small secret ingredient that i always use to um for the chicken which is um Scotch bonnet, scotch bonnet, and uh, and garlic. Scotch bonnet and garlic, my friend. Uh, scotch bonnet and garlic just gives this nice. You want KFC, my lad, and tasty and spicy. Yeah, they man. can't tell me it's not scotch bonnet and garlic. Yeah, yes, you need to try viewers. You need to try. You need to watch, try, and subscribe. All right. Beautiful. Yeah, man. Samurai chef in a place, extreme. The man we got the extra. Don't know. Extra man, man, make it happen. You know what yeah, I mean? Man. Extra it's man. It's a pleasure having so, you. Yeah, always my pleasure, man. Uh, what I have here now is my scotch bonnet and my garlic. No, what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna chop because I don't want. Um, I can't. If I should chop and um, put to the meat, I won't be able to take back all them chopped pieces and that's going to burn in the oil that's going to be a bit bitter you know so i don't want to get that to the chicken so i just want to do a little squeeze to my three peg of garlic and drop them inside like that you know scotch bonnet you know what i can do now i can chop my scotch bonnet you know because i want to spice in you know Remember, viewers, this is scotch bonnet, so you don't really want to play with it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to tell me. <laughs> you don't have to tell me. You don't have to tell me. You don't have to Yeah, man, this is scotch bonnet. You don't have to tell me. Yeah, man. So, so I have a scotch bonnet right there. Uh, what I'm going to do now is to take this fork. And I'm just going to, just like, boom boom the meat like that so it takes all the spice Woo! Mm. Aroma. Jesus Christ, man. hey the only thing why i haven't had piece of this as yet 
Sana Manella. <laughs> I don't want to catch that. So I'm just going to leave it there. But first, <laughs> trust me. What's that? The <laughs> Sana Manella is a, is a bacteria that is in the chicken. It, um, if it's undercooked, you know, uh, 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 or, or it, it's raw, now you can um, get Sana Manella, which is a bacteria. <laughs> You know, and that is very bad for consumption. <laughs> you don't, don't, don't consume that. You know, it's really bad. So, there you go. Viewers, um, I have my scotch bonnet. You can already see because I chop. So it's very all blending, fine. you know. And uh, the garlic is right there just to get the flavor and the taste from it and the aroma. Then um, I can just go through and pick them right back. It's easy as that, you know. Always, you can just go take them back with your spoon, all right? All right, so that's your chicken right there, viewers. What I'm gonna do now, woo! Yes, it's just a leaf to be marinated for a while. Boom. Now, this uh, fried chicken, what I'm gonna do now is some mashed potato. I'm gonna do fried chicken and mashed potato today. Uh, in fact, a lot of people go mashed potato what i want to do today is some potato ash i would love to do some potato ash so i have my potatoes right here viewers i'm not going to go the extreme by doing the mashed potato that's not the extreme i'm going to go the extreme to give you some potato ash today so the potato, potato ash potato ash okay you know so all right getting um getting on to go my potato ash um when we get my um I sauce saucepan right here. Yeah, I'm going to get some water. About a cup of water from that. Yeah. A cup of water from that. Yeah, cover. You know, and then I'm to the fire. Just like that. You know? I get so, used to the stove, eh, man. Yes, man. <laughs> Trust me. So, so while while that is going on, I'm just gonna add um, half tablespoon of salt. And that was quarter, my friend. So I gotta go for a quarter more. There you go. All right. So, potato ash, you know. So um, I'll get this back right here. So viewers, um, I'm just gonna use two potatoes today. Some potato ash, I'm gonna wash. And I'm gonna peel. Yeah man. Beautiful sir. Peel. Wash again. I'm gonna flip my cutting board over because remember I've used um, scotch bonnet on the other side, so I'm just I just flipped it over a bit because I'm gonna use vegetables on this side now. <laughs> Get your fire, yeah man. <laughs> I don't put um, too much fire on. Um, you ever you ever put pepper in a food that you put it? Oh, a lot of times, man. A lot of times, and I'm. I'm supposed to have a piece of paper here that I can show you the one that is not to be played with. See this one here? They call it devil pepper. <laughs> <laughs> they call it devil pepper. It has a brown color to it, you know, next to, um, next to, what's that, uh, violet or purple or one of them. Yeah, so that one is not to be played with yours, <laughs> not, not to be played with. Yeah, that one of my Jamaica is nice. <laughs> yeah, while your food, where is it the hungry? Yeah, man. Alright, so, what I'm gonna do, viewers, some. I'm gonna go cubes. Half inch cubes. So, half inch cubes. Just like that. Half inch cubes. Just like that. You know? And that's gonna be just it. Sorry, I'm gonna get my arm. My skillet. A rinse. And I'm gonna go 
over to the stove. I know. I already ate that. Mm -hmm. the... Yeah, man. So, um, what I have here now is some garlic. I have um, my my um, where are the prints? Oh no, these are just right there. I um, I have some garlic. What I'm gonna do now is just smash a bit of garlic and get a piece of um, scotch bonnet. Wash. I'm gonna take it to the oil. I tell you about the scotch bonnet and the pepper. Nice aroma, nice flavor. Pepper and the and the, uh, the garlic and the, the, the garlic and the scotch bonnet. Nice aroma, nice. Now I got my pot right here. Yes, it's on um on the go for my potato to make my potato ash. I was about to do some mashed potato, but the mashed potato I want to go to the extreme, you know, by serving the ash. some potato ash with the chicken you know okay. so um, that's our cube potatoes and we're going to put to boil for about four minutes all right our oil is getting to the temperature over there all right we're going to take back a look on our chicken right and our chicken is right there very much marinated uh very seasoned well seasoned and ready now what i'm going to do now i'm going to get um my coat you know which i'm going to use to coat my chicken which is some flour you know um now i have my flour right here so i'm not gonna see is um this is a time paper five spoon right so i'm um, using my flour to coat my chicken i like to use a bit of baking powder why because baking powder gives a fluff it's a raisin product it's a raisin agent you know so you want to really um fluff the um the skin of the chicken and really give it a, a, a crips that um when you you bite your chicken you you taste that crunch to um the skin of your chicken so i'm gonna go half half tablespoon of um of uh, baking powder there half tablespoon of baking powder all right what i'm gonna do viewers i'm gonna just slightly dust a bit of my um secret in ingredients right there which is uh, my all-purpose seasoning and, and i'm gonna mix beautiful there you go so it's just like that my friend normally ah uh, you're at home and you want to put a fluff to your chicken uh you would like use some egg wash you know, you, uh, uh, you will use egg wash to bring the fluff to your chicken, but if you want to substitute the egg, you can just use some baking powder. You get the fluff, you get the crisps. Beautiful. All right, so we get my fork right here, and I'm gonna start um, sticking my chickens. So these are my chickens, which I'm slightly flooring. Just like that. And I don't want to get too much flour to the oil. So I will just knock and dust the excess flour from that. Then I'm just gonna lay my chicken to the pot, just like that. I see you take up the two tie first. Yes, 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 because um, the, first, the first part on the chicken to be ready is the wings. Okay. You know, um, depends on how the breast is, you know, I will go the wing, okay. the leg, and then the breast. Okay. Or I will go the wing, the breast, the leg, then the thigh. Okay. But you can never, you can never predict sometimes based on the, 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 the temperature of your oil. Oh. You know, so what I will do now is just to use um, weight. Once you stick your chicken, you turn your chicken, you can feel the weight. You know, you can feel the difference of the weight when it was not yet in the pot and you can feel the difference when after it's sit in the pot for about 10, uh, 10 to 12 minutes okay so i have my breast here now wow. so 
just slightly just in my chicken here wow just like that and um as the chicken sits in the oil you can um get the the the, 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 the sweet sweet aroma from your garlic and your, um, your scotch bonnet so it just sits right there for about 10 12 so you don't take all the pepper and the, and the no, garlic? No, no, you don't have to. And what has happened? As, uh, if you go based on the, the amount of chicken, mm -hmm. you're going to fry it, right? Mm -hmm. Then each time you put a uh, set of chicken in your pot, remember the flour is being left in the oil. You know, so after taking out this batch or maybe you can do another batch, then your oil, your oil will need to strain. Mm -hmm. You know, so after straining your oil, all of that will be gone, you know, so you can Beautiful. utilize your oil in it. Alright, so as I have my chicken in the pot right there, um, what I'm going to do now is just to check up on my ash, you know, check on my potato. So my potatoes are coming down to perfection. the perfection that we're looking for. No. So I can smell that sweet aroma from, from the chicken that is being fried over there. Yeah. You know, and uh, our, 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 our um, potato is been, uh, uh, it's going to be boiled for another minute and a half. So we don't want to get it too soft because doing the hash, you don't want it to break apart while you're utilizing it into the form of hash. You know, so you just want to get it um, with a crunchy bite. Mm -hmm. So it still has that firm body so you can play with it. Yes. You know, so um, as my potato being boiled, I'm just gonna get my, um, my stuff for my ash, you know, and that would be uh, summer right in our fridge. Yeah, suppose we see it. <laughs> yeah. All right, so get a piece of sweet pepper. Yeah, you need a piece of sweet pepper. And my friend, this is my scraps pan. So each and everything I cut, um, I don't really put back the cut things to the fridge like that or put it in a bag because once it's cut it's going to be more easier to um to sweat and spoil and all of that so always have a small container once you use a piece of tomato piece of onion or support just have them all at once so once you're cooking you just work from that you know so doing the ash i'm going to take the seeds from my tomato because what I don't really want is the juice soggy. or to get the, um, the, to get the, um, the, the, the potato sad, uh, too soft, you know, mushy, you know, so I'm going to go half inch cubes, you know, well, half inch cubes, just like that, tomato, half inch cubes, see the half inch cubes. Just like that. Then um, the only thing that is missing from that now is just a piece of onion. So go for the onion deep down inside here. So this one I was talking about, my friend. Um, I don't need such big onion, so I'm just gonna take a small piece and rest about that right there. You know, so I can have all of this cleared off. So, wash. And I'm gonna go half inch cubes, just like that. So, you have your onion. Have your tomato, 
Can you have your sweet pepper? And that will be all. Beautiful. That will be all. So, as the chicken is coming down, as you can see, if you look on the outer layer or on right there on the leg right here, you can see the, um, the, 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 the baking powder giving the chicken its fluff already. You know? Right, let me get a fork. As you can see, let me just flip a piece of this. And then go, you see the, the color you have, you know, and uh, the, 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 the crisps on the outside, you know, not so dark, you know, just, just like that. You, you can see the crisps on the chicken, yeah, you know, you know when you're having that, you're going to get that crumb, you know? Yeah. All right, so we leave them on that side for the next time. Uh, the next uh, four and a half to five minutes and then we'll flip them over. But before we do that, we're gonna check on our ash right here. You know, it's coming right down. Coming to, coming to perfection right here. Coming right down to perfection, you know? 